Hello, today I want to talk to you about a rather overlooked part of a classic video game involving these little critters. That's right, lemmings. Here you go, little lemming. Now off you go. In this video, we're going to take a look at two player lemmings and why you really must play it if you haven't played it before. But first, a little background. Lemmings was developed by DMA Design and published by Cygnosis for the Amiga in 1991, and it was an instant hit. For those of you who don't know what Lemmings is, have you been living under a rock? The aim of Lemmings is to guide these green-haired mindless rodents from the trapdoor to the exit. Sounds easy enough, right? However, unless you tell them to do otherwise, they'll happily walk off a cliff or straight into a trap. But you can assign individual Lemmings a skill. The skills are as follows. A climber. A floater. Bomber. Blocker. Builder. Basher. Miner. And Digger. The difficulty comes, however, because you're only allocated a certain number of each of these at the start of each level. As you make your way through the game, the puzzles become more complex and include sometimes multiple entrances, multiple exits and strict requirements as to how many lemmings you must save in the time allowed. It's a very addictive puzzle game, but sometimes a little frustrating. There's an easy way of releasing your frustration, however, you can just blow them all up. OK, so that's the basics out of the way. What about two-player? Well, by attaching a second mouse, at least on the Amiga version and a few other systems, and selecting the two-player game, the screen would split in two. One player getting green-haired lemmings with blue tunics, and the other getting blue-haired lemmings with green tunics. Each player has their own exit to get their lemmings to, and the player that rescues the most lemmings at the end of the level is the winner. At first glance, that doesn't sound much different from the one-player game, right? Well, there's a lot more to it than that. The first thing you become increasingly aware of is that both of your players share the same map, which means your lemmings will quite happily walk alongside your opponent, and this is where the fun starts. If you end up rescuing one of your opponent's lemmings, then you get the point for that one too. And this is where your war begins. It's all about sabotage. You see, this crazy game can start fights with the best of friends, because whilst you're happily navigating your lemmings to freedom, your opponent may well have decided to play a few tricks on you. They could, for example, divert one of their own lemmings back to the start to affect how your lemmings proceed. They might, for example, place a blocker somewhere near the start, redirecting all of your lemmings towards their exit. Or worse, dig down so all of your lemmings fall off the bottom of the screen. Then there's the strategy of damaging your opponent's recently built infrastructure by, for example, bashing through a bridge that they're building. And of course, the moment that starts, you have to retaliate. And before you know it, no one has any lemmings left at all. It can be a very fun and crazy side to the game, and I wanted to know more. So I've reached out to Mike Daly, creator of Lemmings, to get his perspective on the game. Hi Mike. Hi Rob, how are you doing? Um, two pair Lemmings. Uh, I've always been a bit disappointed it hasn't uh, really been taken forward. Uh, we had great fun doing it. And challenging people was, was always great. It never went on to every platform, which was a shame. Uh, the MS-DOS one really struggled to have the two mice, so it, it just couldn't do it. But Amiga and ST certainly did. Um, and it was always good fun um, kind of playing against somebody because you never really paid attention to the other person's screen. Even though it was split screen, um, it, it was very much of a focused on your own area. So it worked really well on a single screen. 
these days, I think it, with uh, internet play, two player landings would be awesome. Um, in fact, more than two player, you know, you, you just take it up. Um, you get into this kind of battle royale kind of phase uh, where you could have, you know, four or eight players all trying to fight each other and it would just be mayhem. Um, so I think it really, it, it would be a really good thing to see again. Uh, but of course, Sony would have to start doing landings again. Um, but it's definitely a game mode that's. I, th I think we'd, we'd go well in the modern era, and um, it's one I've really missed. Thanks Mike for your time. There's some great ideas there. Imagine a four player version of the game or more. That'd be chaos, and so much fun! And it looks like you can. At least, play a Lemmings-like game with up to eight player multiplayer. It's called Lix, and it's open source, and available on most platforms. As Mike said, Two Player Lemmings was available only on a few platforms such as the Amiga. It also made its way onto the Atari ST, SNES and Mega Drive, sometimes using the joystick instead of the mouse. The Amiga version came with 20 levels, and the follow-up, Oh No More Lemmings, contained another 10. Later levels would also include multiple trapdoors and lemmings walking towards your opponent's exit on start. And when you consider theirs were walking towards yours, that's a tricky one to redirect. So I challenge you, next time you find yourself in front of one of these systems, dig out that copy of Lemmings and play a two-player game. It's so much fun! But just a word of warning, choose your opponent carefully because they may not be your friend at the end of the game. If you don't have a suitable system, then you can play this on some of the emulation platforms too. Right, that's enough, let's get rid of these Lemmings! Oh no! Five, four, three, two, one, wait for it! Wow. Well, I don't think I'm going to get much game playing in now. I think I've got to clean up all this mess that the Lemmings have left behind. So instead, I'll just say thanks to the Lemmings for mostly behaving, thanks for Mike for joining me in this video, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.